And welcome back, everyone, to 12 News at 4. Farmers and homeowners in the South Delta got some good news this week, Walt. Yeah, they're the closest they've been in a long time to getting that Yazoo backwater pump project complete. 12 News' Alex Love tells us about what uh, hurdles were cleared today. Alex, what would you find out? You know, it's basically the same hurdles that stood in the way of the 2008 veto. Those hurdles are now gone after the EPA of Region 4 said they're on board with what the Army Corps of Engineers has proposed. Now, I'm standing right now in the town of Holly Bluff. Now, usually the surrounding area around here by the Yazoo Sharkey County line would be anywhere from five to seven feet underwater during a backwater flood, and that can put a lot of livelihoods and properties in danger. And in fact, just a couple miles down the road from where I'm standing, two people crashed their car back in 2019 and sadly drowned once their car went into the flood water on the side of the road. Now, this week, Delta Farmers took a step closer to the pump to the pump project that could prevent backwater flooding in the future when it comes to saving their livelihoods and the place they call home. Well, on Monday, the EPA Region 4 director sent a letter to the Army Corps of, en of Engineers, uh, giving them the green light on their current plan. The EPA said says its 2008 veto has no issues over this project. This time, it's on board. This is a very heartwarming news for people who call the South Delta their home. I just said, finally, they 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 doing what the, what we were supposed to had years ago. And thank 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 the good Lord above, you know, because it it was beginning to play a, a a bad toll on the local farmers and the hunters and campers and you know every, everybody was hurting from. It. We'll be driving around the surrounding areas later this evening to talk to some more farmers who were on the front lines advocating for the Finish the Pumps campaign over the last couple of years. And we'll also be interviewing the director of the Mississippi Levy Board about how the project could work once it finally gets approved if Congress gives the final funding in 2021 and the rod is signed off. Live in, in Holly Bluff, Alex Love, 12 News.